you are a superstar really appreciate you taking the time to learn this and it's going to pay dividends for you because we're not in this for the short game we're in this for the long run you know the markets are here for a while crypto is not going anywhere blockchain is the future but you putting in the work now it's going to pay dividends long term so what are we going to do now well we're going to go into more stuff now it's going to go into rubber meets the road the practical day-to-day -day, how do i actually apply this stuff and what software do i use so today is going to be looking at three different softwares to say, hey, what's the best one to use or why would I use different ones at different points? So let's have a look at the software. So there's three. So let's just dive in over here. Oh, there we go, software. So what is software? What do I mean by software? Well, we need price data. We need chart patterns. You ever seen charts with all lines and it's showing the price, Bitcoin's going up, Bitcoin's going down. Well, that's what I mean by software and price data. So the three pieces of software that we're going to look at is CoinMarketCap. It's free. We're going to use that for many, many things, but CoinMarketCap also allows us to do some analysis. That's going to be one. So that's what it looks like. Second one is going to be something called Dex Tools. Dex Tool, Decentralized Exchange Tools. That's cool for us to use in particular situations, especially for new tokens. When there's a new project that's been listed, you can get the price data feed almost instantly. So sometimes that's better then coin market cap, but you, you would use the two and I'll show you how in a second. And then last but not least is TradingView. Well, funny enough, TradingView actually supplies the data to all three, to TradingView itself, to coin market cap and to Dex tools. But TradingView is a software in itself, it's online, it's cloud-based software. You can log in, you can create a free account and you can get some really, really cool tools. But today's lesson is about just looking at the software before we'll dive into how to use the software. So you ready for a live demo? Well, let's dive straight in. So I'm going to come out of this over here. I'm also going to put my thing off this. Let's dive into, first I'm going to dive into CoinMarketCap actually. So CoinMarketCap.com. So the website is CoinMarketCap.com and it'll take you to this site over here. Now I'm just going to reset this so it's a bit bigger for you to see. You'll see in the top left hand corner there's 11,122 current tokens listed on CoinMarketCap and it gives you really valuable information. But what I'm going to show you today is if we just click on any token, so the larger ones are the best to use as in for, for CoinMarketCap and I'm going to show you why. So let's just click on Bitcoin. You get a lot of information, you get the, the name of the token, here it's um, or the coin in this case is Bitcoin, the current price up here. You got website links, you got social media links, etc. But we're going to scroll down to this middle part where it shows us some chart and price data, right? Chart and price data. Now, first of all, Coin Market Cap gives us information in this view, and it's, it's, it's by default it shows us all the data. So here with Bitcoin, it shows us data all the way back from 2013 up until today. And we can do Elliott Wave counts here, but you can't draw on this particular chart. So you can't label it and you can't save it, which is sometimes not that helpful. So as a snapshot, you can just use it to go, okay, I'm gonna get a feel for the market and you can kind of do it in your mind or you can take a screenshot. But what CoinMarketCap has, and it's added this recently, it has a button called Market Cap. if you look over here. And then the next button says Trading View, Trading View, yeah. The same trading view as we was talking about and if we click on that what it does is it switches to the trading view software and it gives you free access free access yes free that's it now it doesn't allow you to save on this as far as i'm aware but what it does allow you to do is you can click on this over here this button called um, patterns and there's a button called elliot wave impulsive waves and elliot wave Correction waves or correction waves. Yes. So when we click on this what it allows us to do is you can click on the start of a wave And then you can literally just draw what you think the wave count is Yeah, and that makes it really really easy for us to do now We're gonna go through some examples, but the reason you'll use coin market cap. It's free. It's easy You're probably using it already if you're not you should be because it gives you a lot of information about the tokens so if we just use another example, if we go to the home page, let's just choose a random, let's just choose um, Polkadot. If we click on Polkadot, again, we've got the great information. If we scroll down a little bit. We've got the current information here. 
we can do a rough wave count. You know, we can say one, two, three, four, five, etc. But if we just now click trading view on Polkadot, boom, we've got the information. We can zoom out. Or we can zoom in, get all the data. We can look at where, you know, these, we'll, we'll cover how, what trading view means, how, what, what all this stuff means in another lesson. But it, again, it allows you to click on this button. You can click on, I want to do a wave count. And here you can say, let's just so you, you thought this is a one, two, three, four, five. And it allows you to do these really, really cool things. Now, the problem with CoinMarketCap is the following. Let's just choose a younger project. Um, let's just see, I'm not sure if it will have it, but let's just use a BSE pad. BSE pad, which is a launch pad token. It's not in the top 100, it's 575. Um, so I'm looking at the price, price has gone up, which is a good thing because I hold, I hold some. Um, so we're looking at this. So now we're gonna click trading view. Let's just see if it does give us information. So sometimes this happens. So yeah, which means the data is not available on trading view. Now you might go, well, yeah, but I want to do my wave count, my Elliott wave count on BSC pad, because you're looking to buy it, you're looking to sell it, you want to kind of get a clearer picture on what's what. Well, in this scenario, what you will do is this is where you use Dex tools, Dex tools. So if we scroll up, what you're going to do, and it ties in nicely with what we're going to go into next, is if you're not familiar with crypto, crypto has wallet addresses. So every token has its own wallet address. So where it says here, contracts, it has a contract address. And what you can do is these this copy button, you can click copy, that's important. We've copied the BSC pad token address. We're now gonna go to Dex Tools. Dex Tools is dextools.io, dextools.io. And the top left-hand corner, you will have a few different decentralized exchanges. You have SushiSwap, you have Uniswap, you have PancakeSwap. Now, if we just jump back into BSE pad, what you'll notice is when the icon here is yellow, that will tell us that is on a BSC network, the BSC network, which is Binance Smart Chain. If you're not familiar with that, I might have to do a, another lesson on that, um, but there's, it's either gonna be on Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain. They're, they're the most two common, um, especially for Dex tools. And what we want to do is now click on this and go, right, we want to go on to PancakeSwap, which is linked to Binance Smart Chain, which is BSC. If it's Ethereum, an Ethereum wallet, I should probably show you an example of an Ethereum wallet. Let's click on Ethereum itself. Um, actually, that's not a good example. Let's go to Uniswap itself. And you'll see it's got this diamond um, logo. That's the Ethereum logo. So this will be on Uniswap. So this, we would copy this address for Uniswap. And on Dex tools, in this case, we would use the top one, Uniswap pair. But for BSC pad, we are gonna use PancakeSwap. PancakeSwap is a decentralized exchange for the Binance Smart Chain network. Now, what you're gonna to need to do here, in the search bar, in the top right-hand corner here, you can actually type in BSC pad. However, you've got to be careful because anyone can create a token on the decentralized exchanges and there's also fake tokens, there's scam tokens. So best practice is to copy the wallet address like we did from CoinMarketCap and paste the wallet address into this section. And then just click on the top one that appears from the wallet address and that, there you can be confident it's the right chart information. So when we click on this, we can see it's got the same or a similar price. And, and then the data appears, there you go. And what you can do is you can go large screen. I personally like to have my, uh, if you click on this cog, the settings, I personally like to have the background white. Makes it easier for me to see and it's more consistent with what I use on the other software. And you can change these to white as well. You don't have to do this, but once you do it, it normally saves. And you can go to paid versions of these as well. But here you'll see it's got my, it's got the data that I need for my BSC pad, and then I can look to see if there's any wave counts. Um, you know, we can change the time frame. Um, so right now, there's a couple of things I'll cover it with you now because I don't know if I'll get to do it later on. Uh, and again, this is still trading view, even though it's a Dex tools, it's trading view platform. So all each three of them, um, Coin Market Gap, Dex tools, and trading view itself have the same, pretty much the same functionality and the features. 
So you can have either candlesticks, where every little bar here represents a day. But when you click here, you can change it where every little bar represents an hour. So now we're on an hourly chart and it just shows us this pattern over here. So let's just do a quick live example. This is just me doing it off the cuff. You know, we've learned Elliott wave theory and we said five wave sequences, but what do you see here? But what we see here is a nice, what looks like a wave one, a wave two. So we do a first click down here, second click up here, third click here, which is a wave two. It looks like a wave three. It looks like a wave four, even though it's not a nice ABC structure, but now it looks like a final wave five is forming. So we'll just put that over here. And that allows us to do our Elliott wave counts. And what this will tell us, just whilst we're on it, is that we're coming towards what looks like an end of a wave five. And remember I told you about larger and lesser degree counts? Well, let's look at the lesser de degree count of this part here. What I can see is this looks like an initial wave one, an initial wave two, and it looks like the initial part of the wave three. And what you can also do with this tool is click this T, if you click it here, this text button, and you can actually just click on here, drag it up, and you can manually put in text. Uh, so I want this down here. You can even copy paste, Control V, Control C. Uh, often it works. Uh, maybe it doesn't work in Dex tools. It works in the trading view anyway. Um, so here we'll just need to press this button again, click up here, type in one. So now we can see we've got um, higher degree counts and lower degree counts. Another thing you can do here, and it's the same for all three pieces of software. If you click on the Elliott wave counts that you've done and the cog, you can actually change, is this a macro count? So you've got um, super cycles or cycle uh, or primary. Primary will be your macro count or is it your intermediate count? In this case, it's actually an intermediate count. And then the other ones can be, you can kind of change it and adjust the text size if you like. You can say, I want to make the text size a bit smaller to maybe 16. So you can kind of see it the way you want. So it gives you a lot of options. That's what I'm trying to show you here. So Dex Tools is if the token is not available on Coin Market Cap, you go to Dex Tools. Now, why would you use Trading View? So the third option I told you was Trading View itself. So I'm going to click on Trading View. You will go to tradingview.com, tradingview.com. And we're on the Bitcoin chart over here. Now, it's a bit more sophisticated. The reason you use Trading View is it allows you to save the charts. If you go for the paid version, it allows you to do unlimited amount of charts, so you can save as many as you like. Um, so it makes life easier if you're doing a lot of chart analysis. So when I click over here, you'll see I've got a lot of different charts, a lot of different charts that I've saved. Well, I've saved them, so I don't need to redo them. It's saved, and I've got a lot of information on them. So that's where you use Trading View. Um, also, in Trading View, if you click on the top left of corner here, you click on crypto in specific and just type in what you're looking for. So if you're looking for Polkadot, you can either write the ticker symbol, which is DOT, and here's different data feeds. And just click on one and that will give you the data as well. But again, what you'll see is the same, the same tools on the left hand side. So you, this is the one that we're normally going to use, this one here. And we'll click on the Elliott Wave counts and just let's just focus here for a second. Just as an example, let's just say, oh, in fact, I've, I've drawn on this before. I'm just hiding the data. So for TradingView, I just want to show you it's the same thing as the coin market cap. Why would you use TradingView as opposed to coin market cap? It's only if you want to save the data, do multiple charts. There's a few other things you can do as well, but the main thing is the saving. So you got your three. So let's just jump back into our PowerPoint. Let's just dive back into this screenshot here. We got these three. So we've got CoinMarketCap, that's your go-to place, it's easy, it's convenient, it's CoinMarketCap.com, you get the information, click Trading View, and you can play with the chart there, just know that it doesn't save. So if you're leaving the site and then coming back, often it doesn't save. Second is if you're doing a lower, car, lower cap, um, lower market cap projects that are not showing up on Trading View, then you can copy the contract and go onto DexTools.com or .io and paste it in the search bar, click, and again, you have to make sure you go onto the Uniswap for Ethereum-based tokens and BSC for Binance Smart Chain-based tokens. I know there's a bit to take on there, but you'll get used to it once you've kind of done it a few times. But then if you want to save the data, 
So you don't have to keep doing the same analysis. If you want to go back to seeing your thoughts, if you're doing regular analysis, then tradingview.com is going to be your best bet.